Have you ever wondered what the deepest place on earth is? Well, it's right under our feet, at the bottom of the ocean. And today we will explore this fascinating place, full of mysteries and incredible creatures. The Mariana Trench is one of the most fascinating and mysterious places on earth. Located at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, between the Mariana Islands, this crack impresses with its incomparable depth. At more than 11,000 meters deep, the Mariana Trench is the deepest point in the oceans and was formed by the movement of tectonic plates, where the Pacific Plate dives under the Philippine Plate. This immense, V-shaped crack is approximately 2,550 kilometers long and 70 kilometers wide. To give you an idea of its depth, it is so vast that the entire Mount Everest could fit inside it, and there would still be room left over. Furthermore, the extreme environmental conditions make the Mariana Trench one of the least explored places on Earth. Due to the extreme pressure and total darkness that reigns in the depths of the trench, life in this environment is scarce and adapted to extreme conditions. Yet even in these harsh conditions, surprising creatures have been found, such as bioluminescent abyssal fish, giant squid, and other life forms adapted to darkness and extreme pressure. Explorations of the Mariana Trench have been challenging endeavors full of fascinating discoveries. From Jacques Picard and Don Walsh's pioneering expedition in 1960 to the most recent missions, each foray reveals more about this mysterious environment and its inhabitants. The first expedition, led by Jacques Picard and Don Walsh, was a milestone in the history of ocean exploration. Aboard the submarine Trieste, they descended to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, reaching a record depth of almost 11,000 meters. This expedition revealed the existence of life in the abyssal depths, surprising the world with the discovery of creatures adapted to extreme conditions of pressure and darkness. Since then, several other expeditions have followed in Picard and Walsh's footsteps, each bringing new technologies and methods of exploration. In 1985, the Glomar Challenger probe faced unexpected challenges such as strange sounds and unexplained damage, raising questions about the presence of unknown creatures deep in the trench. In 2012, filmmaker James Cameron undertook a solo expedition to the Mariana Trench, descending to the bottom of the ocean in a specially designed submarine of his own design. His journey was documented in the film Deep Sea Challenge, showing the sensation of entering the darkness and silence of the abyssal depths. Each expedition brings with it new discoveries and challenges, fueling curiosity and the desire to unravel the mysteries of the Mariana Trench. However, even with technological advances, the ocean floor remains one of the most unexplored and enigmatic places on Earth, offering a fascinating field of study for scientists and explorers. The mysteries and discoveries related to the Mariana Trench are as abundant as they are intriguing. This extreme and unexplored environment offers fertile ground for imagination and scientific investigation, leaving many questions unanswered and many discoveries to be made. One of the biggest mysteries surrounding the Mariana Trench is its biodiversity. Despite the extreme conditions of pressure and darkness, several life forms adapted to this hostile environment were found. Weird and wonderful creatures like bioluminescent abyssal fish, Giant squid and bizarre crustaceans challenge our understanding of how life can thrive in such inhospitable environments. Xenophyophores are giant amoebas that live at the bottom of the sea, and are some of the largest single-celled organisms on the planet. These protozoa live in the deepest regions of the ocean, and little is known about them, as their fragile form makes them difficult to collect. These organisms come in various shapes and sizes, and can look like spherical sponges or even flat disks. Xenophyophores are essentially pieces of cytoplasm, a viscous fluid containing nuclei. They secrete glue-like strands of their fecal matter, which attach to minerals and other objects in the environment, such as skeletal remains, and use them to form an exoskeleton. Xenophyophores move like slugs on the sea floor and have no known predators. Amphipods are small crustaceans, present throughout the ocean. However, one species in particular lives in the Mariana Trench. It is the Hirondelia gigas, a shrimp-like creature, 5 meters long, that feeds on wood that sinks to the bottom of the sea. These creatures can go without food for a long time, 
but they will eat almost anything they see, almost to the point of exploding. These amphipods produce an enzyme that allows them to eat wood, and which scientists believe has the potential to create ethanol. Ethanol is used in the creation of drugs, plastics, and cosmetics. Holothurians are a new species of luminous sea cucumber. And even though these creatures look like a plant, they are animals related to sea stars. Sea cucumbers are peculiar organisms with an unusual defense mechanism. When threatened, they contract their muscles and expel internal organs through the anus. The cucumbers seen in the planet's trenches have a bright and transparent violet color. The angler fish gets its name from the bright, bioluminescent lure on its head that it uses to attract prey. This unique Mariana trench creature might be one of the most popular deep-sea animals, thanks to the role it played in Finding Nemo. With a little ball of light protruding from the top of its head, it is also easy to differentiate from other fish. Its teeth are quite sharp, making it a vicious predator, and its body shape is quite unusual. On average, a female angler fish size is around 8 inches in length, while males only grow to around 1 inch in length. If that wasn't strange enough, male anglers will fuse themselves with female anglers to create a single fish. The deep sea dragonfish is one of the smallest apex predators in the ocean. This dragonfish is unique in that it does not have scales. Like the angler fish, it is able to produce its own light through a process called bioluminescence. Through this process, it can attract prey. Though this small fish is only 6 inches in length on average, it has unique, dragon-like features that make it one of the most vicious-looking deep-sea creatures around. Compared to its small size, its teeth are absolutely massive. The deep-sea hatchetfish is easy to differentiate from other dwellers of the deep oceans. These small, 2.5-inch fish have shiny scales and bioluminescent bodies that give them a metallic look. They also have the unique ability to alter their brightness to camouflage themselves when they need to. A deep-sea hatchet fish will use dim blue light to protect itself. If a predator is below the hatchet fish looking up, the predator will not be able to see anything at all, as the dim blue light blends right in with the rest of the water. Each different species of hatchet fish displays different light patterns on their bellies. Counterillumination is the term for the way they use their camouflaging bioluminescence. The frilled shark has been around the block, as this species has existed for more than 80 million years. Ludwig H. P. Doderlein, a German ichthyologist, discovered the frilled shark during the 19th century. With a unique mouth shape and eerie appearance, many people refer to this shark as a living fossil. The body of this shark is very similar to that of an eel in that it is has similar jaw-to-head articulation and is gray in color. They have widely shaped, sharp teeth, anywhere between 21 to 29 in their lower jaw and 19 to 28 in their upper jaw. If the frilled shark wasn't scary enough, the goblin shark might give you nightmares. This rare shark species is creepy and unusual, often described as fossil-like. You could easily pick it out of a police lineup thanks to its distinctive snout and pink-toned skin. It also has incredibly sharp teeth and a skinny, protruding jaw. While they're not the biggest in the world, these sharks grow between 10 to 13 feet in length. In addition to marine life, the Mariana Trench also holds important geological secrets. Its formation is directly linked to plate tectonics and subduction processes, which shape the Earth's surface over millions of years. Studying the rocks and sediments at the bottom of the trench can provide valuable insights into the geological history of our planet and the processes that have shaped it over time. Another intriguing mystery are the mysterious sounds detected deep within the pit. During several expeditions, scientists have recorded strange and inexplicable noises, which have not yet been fully understood. These sounds can be produced by geological activities such as earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, or by unknown creatures that inhabit the abyssal depths. As technology advances and new expeditions are undertaken, it is likely that more mysteries will be revealed and more discoveries will be made in the Mariana Trench. However, the lure of the unknown will continue to draw scientists, explorers, and the curious to the depths of the ocean. 
where Earth's secrets wait to be unlocked. So, what do you think? Is there something in the depths of the ocean that we don't yet know about? Leave your comments below and don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Until the next adventure.